Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that markets globally are focused on Washington, where there remains an impasse over how to raise America's debt ceiling. Everyone's watching a House of Representatives vote due later today on a plan for cutting the deficit put forward by the Republicans. But there is now some doubt that even will pass. There's a revolt by Tea Party Republicans against the plan, which they say doesn't cut the deficit enough. But even if it does pass, the Democratic-led Senate plans to block it because it has no tax hikes, and Barack Obama, the US president, is opposed too. So they'll be back in the Congress over the weekend trying to hammer out a deal before the August the 2nd deadline. That's Tuesday US time, Wednesday our time. Meanwhile, the US Treasury has put out a contingency plan for what happens if the debt ceiling is not raised, and it says it will prioritise interest payments. Now that means other US government payments may not be made, including Social Security, perhaps payments to, to various people. Bankers have written to the US Congress warning of, quote, grave consequences if the debt ceiling is not raised. The Dow fell another 0.5% after falling more than 200 points yesterday. The New Zealand dollar too off its high slightly under 87 US cents this morning. Yet, amazingly, the US 10-year Treasury yield down 3 basis points to 2.96%. That means people, even though there's so much concern about whether or not these bonds might actually default, are actually buying more of them and pushing the price higher, the yield lower. That's actually a one-month low. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand. Oh, 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 oh,